Well, hello, everyone, and thanks for joining this fourth Tech Talk series, episode four. Uh, the topic is VB6 migrations and our utilities that help speed up the process. Hi again, I'm Joe Raffinelli. I am the Director of Technical Solutions here at Microsoft. At Microsoft, we are a customized software development company. Uh, we specialize in migrating old technology to new platforms. I'm here with my colleague, Imran Saladin. He is our VP of Migration Services to discuss this topic. Imran, thank you so much for joining. Hello, everyone. Um, Visual Basic or VB6 was another great tool that were used for many years to develop business applications. Um, today, I will be talking on how we perform VB6 um, application migrations to .NET using our, our tools. Thanks, Imran. So like we've did in the past three sessions, um, I'm gonna provide like, we'll call them like starter questions to get us sort of warmed up and then we'll toss it over to um, the folks that joined and see if they had any questions via chat. But let's let's sort of keep it simple at this point. Um, let's tell the viewers, um, you know, the, the tools that Microsoft uses in VB6 migrations. Um, Microsoft has been doing VB6 migrations for many years and we wanted to bring some automation into this process. So mm -hmm. VB Morph is designed to assist Microsoft, Microsoft Teams in their tool assisted VB6 migration projects. Um, these tools are no magic, but they, they increase the speed of our work and accuracy. And of course, this helps us in making faster deliveries uh, to our customers. Um, VB Morph is especially designed to migrate VB6 projects in to modern tech stack, which includes the .NET, C Sharp, Angular, SQL Server. Um, we also have a lighter version of this tool that we call VB Morph Sandbox. Uh, Sandbox converts VB code to C Sharp .NET. Understood. So if folks went onto our site, right, and they saw the Sandbox page, can can you like show us what the link is all about? Right, so Sandbox is a handy tool that um, all of our developers keep in their tool belt. Um, it converts or translates the VB code into c .NET code. Uh, developers convert the code and fix the issues. This way, their speed is greatly increased. Um, let's see a demo of the VB Morph uh, Sandbox tool. Hi, and welcome to the demo of VB Morph Sandbox powered by Microsoft. This is a stripped down trial version of our VB Morph tool, which automates the conversion of VB6 to C Sharp. Sandbox has a very simple interface. You can either paste the VB6 code or hit choose file to select the VB6 module or a class library file from the local library directory. Sandbox reads the selected VB6 mod module file and displays VB6 code in the left pane. Let's convert the code by hitting the start conversion button on the right hand top corner. You can see the converted code in the right pane. Sandbox analyzes the code, translate every line and converts all to C sharp class that references .NET classes. Sandbox displays the conversion log in the bottom pane, which is very useful for programmers to understand if some code is not migrated correctly. You can copy the code and paste it whenever you want, or simply hit open in Visual Studios to open the converted code in Visual Studio. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Perfect. Thanks for sharing that demo. You know what? It looks very similar to the Google Translator tool. It should be a great first step for our folks to get a better understanding of how, the, how to migrate their code. So, question folks may have is, is a sandbox tool available for our audience? <clears throat> yes, um, we have a free sandbox version available online. Um, anyone can use this tool to translate their uh, VB code to C sharp. Uh, it uses the same VB morph code and, um, and same translation engine basically that our uh, desktop version uses. Um, you can see the URL of VB Morph Sandbox on the screen, and anyone is welcome to go there and try your uh, VB code migration to uh, c .net. Perfect. I'm glad to hear that people can play around with the tool. 
they'll get comfortable, you know, with the capabilities. All right, so that's Sandbox. So now let's talk about the, the heavier lift, right? So we're talking about the VB Morph tool. Please tell us more about it and how it differs from the sand, Sandbox utility. <clears throat> so the VB Morph um, and Sandbox uses the same language translator engine. Um, sandbox is just for VB code translation, while VB Morph migrates the full VB6 project that includes forms, classes, and modules. Uh, in addition of the VB code, it translates, it migrates all these modules and components into um, a .NET uh, and uh, modern tech stack architecture. Our team uses VB Morph in the start of the project. They migrate the full VB6 project using VB Morph. Um, this process may need running multiple times for a whole or some of the modules. It's based on the project. And um, apart from full uh, project migration developers use Sandbox tool to migrate uh, VB code to C-sharp.net frequently throughout the, you know, the migration process. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you for that. So when we talk about modernize, modernization or migrating a VB6, you know, project to a modern architecture, which modern architecture or tech stack does VBMorph use? <clears throat> Microsoft has designed a modern architecture for browser-based applications using Microsoft tech stack mainly. Um, we call it Dazzle architecture. We use this architecture to develop all of our web-based um, applications. Uh, modifications can be done based on the client requirement or, or, or the for that particular project, but it's usually the same uh, tech stack or the architecture we use. Let's see how Dazzle looks like. You can see it has multiple layers. All this is modern multi-tier application. On the top, you see the UI layer, which has Angular, HTML, Bootstrap, Liquid Designs. Um, and under it, there's a business. Uh, there's a service layer, which integrates the business layer with the presentation layer. It's a web API. Then there's a business layer where all the c .NET core um, lies, which has all the business rules and um, all the meat of the application. Then there's the data layer, which uh, which integrates the database to the business layer. We use Dapper here, which is a very lightweight ORM. If required, we can use um, you know any other ORM as well. Um, the database side, we prefer to use SQL Server, whatever the latest version is available in the market, or if client wants a, a previous version of the SQL Server, we use it. However, it can be replaced with any other version, but VB Morph migrates to the by default, the SQL Server. And this whole um, um, project that is built on this architecture can be hosted on cloud, AWS, or Azure on Docker as well. Perfect. I appreciate you showing those, that Dazzle slide. You know, once folks see architecture, um, it brings a lot, you know, to them, and they know exactly, you know, maybe have some questions from, from it. You know, it's very informative is what I'm trying to say. So so when you have Dazzle Framework, is this a proprietary tool or can anybody use it? Um, Dazzle comes in two versions, um, Dazzle and Dazzle Lite. Dazzle Lite is someone that um, anyone can download from our website and start using it. it. It will give them a very quick starting point to develop their browser-based or web-based applications. Um, I will, uh, will show you the, the URL where you uh, go and browse the Dazzle page, read more about, um, about Dazzle, what it does, and you can download it, uh, the Dazzle Lite from there as well. Uh, Dazzle that the Microsoft Teams uses, it has, you know, many more features than uh, Dazzle Lite. Um, there are user authentication and some uh, many other features that are built in the main Dazzle thing. So what uh, my answer is Dazzle Lite can be uh, downloaded from our website and anyone can use it. Perfect, thank you for that. So at this point, I'm sure our audience is anxious to see how VB Morph works. <laughs> so why don't we go ahead and show that demo? Sure, let's watch the demo um, of VB Morph first. Hi, and welcome everyone to the VB Morph demo powered by Microsoft. 
Once after opening the tool, click on the open project button and we can start working on our tool from here. From this window, click on the source project and select the source from your local system. Then click on the target folder to select the target path. Hit the next button to continue. In this screen, the tool does its work by reading all your files from selected source folder and you will be able to see the count of reports, folders, modules, and classes. From there, you will hit next button. You will get this screen and here the tool will allow you to select specific files to migrate and also you can select complete folder or specific files by expanding the folder icon. Select the theme and color for the user interface and hit the next button. Here you need to define the SQL Server and type in the credentials to access and continue by clicking the next button. You can review all your inputs in this screen and click on start migration. This is where you can see the progress of your project migration and yes, it's completed. Hit next to continue. Now you can click on the open in Visual Studio icon to see the migrated project. It consists of different layers like business, data access, models, and controls. Thank you for watching our VB Morph demo. Okay, so um, so we watched the video that how uh, the wizard works and it migrates all the modules. So let me let me show you how the migrated project looks like. Okay, this is um, this is the the migrated solution which followed the Dazzle framework it has different layers and i as i mentioned earlier when we were talking about the Dazzle, you can see um, i will start from the Dazzle api this is the api layer which has the, all the controllers view models security layers configurations and common extensions etc then it has the business logic uh, project there which has all the business logic migrated from the VB um, code, which is written in the forms or which is written in the modules. <clears throat> so all those modules and um, classes come here as a um, as the uh, C sharp basically classes in the business logic layer. Then um, we'll have the domain, which is um, which has all models like you know DB tables and business model, all the business models that are used in the VB application. Then we have the Dazzle.util project. Um, it has all predefined functions and uh, that are used throughout the, uh, the project. So that's how it, <clears throat> it provides you a complete application and the solution in the Visual Studio. Um, it, um, it migrated all the classes and all the code that you have, all the UI in the form of HTML and uh, the code is migrated to the VB um, code, uh, sorry, the C sharp.net code in the business um, uh, logic layer and in the form of the TypeScript. So, and that's how our developers start using this migrated uh, solution and start, you know, um, fixing the connections and all those things to make it runnable and start working from there. Perfect. Thanks for sharing the Visual Studio screen. Um, it, it helped in, in terms of as you were explaining it and also the layers that was good as well. So at this point, I didn't have any other questions. I was going to go ahead and ask the audience to go ahead and put your questions on the chat and we'll go ahead and give that a minute. Okay, question number one, are these tools available for free? <clears throat> um, VBMorph um, is a you know, uh, proprietary tool that Microsoft uses for the in-house uh, development and using the, the migrations. VBMorph Sandbox online tool, <clears throat> I'm sorry, 
uh, VBMorph Sandbox uh, online tool that we demonstrated you is free and anyone can use it online. Okay, perfect, thank you. All right, let's see if there's any other questions. Okay, question number two. Does Dazzle have limitations? Uh, no, <clears throat> in terms of um, any proprietary libraries that Microsoft has, no. Um, especially when it comes to the Dazzle light, you anyone can download and maintain it and you have complete um, code of it whenever required. You can upgrade the version of it. You can replace any components of it. There is no restrictions on the Dazzle um, light. Uh, but for the Dazzle, there are some limitations. And uh, when um, we migrate our um, applications for our clients and whenever there is an update required, we, we provide it to them. Okay, that makes sense. <clears throat> All righty, we'll wait another couple seconds here. Any other questions? Okay, question number three. How much work is required after VBMorph's migration? <clears throat> That's really a very important question and to, and to understand and to know. Uh, it really depends on how the VB project is written or how we plan to use VBMorph in the migrations. Uh, VB code is migrated to a business layer and UI layer as TypeScript also. The developers decide what changes and how much changes they require based on the code and the project because how the code is distributed and how better it will work in the client server environment. Um, when it comes to the UI, so complex UI need more time to fix the controls and layouts and their responsiveness. Um, these are the main things, the code distribution and the UI thing. So developers do these tasks um, um, manually after getting the migrated um, application and which varies from project to project. Perfect, thank you. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's see if there's anything else. We are checking. All right, so I'm being told there's no other questions. Imran, I wanna thank you again for letting us pick your brain for the fourth time, right, in as many months. So we appreciate that. Appreciate the folks that joined and sent us their chat uh, messages here, or their questions. Hopefully everybody found this to be very informative and we're gonna keep doing these. We'll have another one next month. Um, in the meantime, if anybody has any additional questions that they're not thinking of right now, you can certainly you know, um, send me an email or, or give me a call. You, you can see my information there on the screen. So, um, but for now, um, I want to thank everybody again for joining and uh, have a great rest of your day. Take care now. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye now.